the reason God allowed the Quran to be sent to the Arabs is because he knew that the leaders of the Arabs would try to get the Arabs to follow another god if he didn't. He knew that the Arab leaders would forsake him completely rather than see their people follow a Jewish Messiah whose message consisted basically of that we are the children of God and as brothers we should not be fighting and coming together in peace as one to build the kingdom of God. He figured that it was better to allow them to be deceived and believe the lie that he fathers none but still keep them as his flocks, then lose them completely. He knew that Jesus would be able to convince them of the truth when he returns on the day of judgment. Scriptures are not to be liberally, literally interpreted. They are to be spiritually interpreted. I realize that some of you will disagree with me, but you must refrain from doing so. Openly disagreeing with me will only cause others to doubt my messiahship. We are at war against the kingdom of Satan, which means that you must not do anything that will help it in any way. To do so is treason. If you are a citizen of the kingdom of God, giving aid and comfort to the enemy when you owe allegiance to us will brand you as a traitor. And then there won't be much I can do to help you. Adherence to anything that is contrary to God and his laws must immediately cease to avoid this from happening. Allah is the one true God and Father of us all. The star that the wise men saw and followed was the star of David that led to the house of David that was in the city of David and if you're wise enough to read the scriptures you can follow that same star to Jesus just as they did the most powerful position on earth is kneeling before the Creator and the Lord of the universe. Would you be willing to give up your salvation if it meant that many others would be brought to the belief in Christ as a result of it? Because that is basically what it seems like God has asked me to do. I may, become, I may come out of this looking bad, so you look good. I'm willing 
to give up my place in heaven so you can be there. My life for your life. I tell you the truth, if I could gain the whole world for God, it would be worth losing my own soul. It's up to you whether you, I come to you with open arms or arms. Richard, peace and blessings of God be upon you. You can call me Jesus, Muhammad, or David, and I will answer you because although we each had a different physical name, We have the same spiritual name, Emmanuel. What profit or reward would if I get if I gained the whole world but lost my own soul? As long as I did it for the right reason. To spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. I would receive in exchange the soul of Jesus and his crown and the right to be called the Savior of the whole world. I will bring the return of Jesus to this planet even if I have to do it myself using the last breath I have. Apparently being brothers in the flesh, sons of man, is not a enough to stop us from murdering each other. It certainly did not keep Cain from killing Abel. And the reason for that is because Cain was really trying to kill the spirit that was in Abel. So until we all become brothers in the Spirit, sons of God, there's not much chance that murder will cease. The Quran says I'm cursed for calling myself a son of God. Then cursed I'll be because I'd rather be cursed for being God's son than punished for not 